This is problem number two for assessment number seven. In this problem it says solve the inequality, write the solution in interval notation, and it gives you the absolute value of 0.25x minus six is greater than nine. Now when I solve these, I personally like to uh, write this as an equation, find the roots, and then use the number line. So that's how I'm gonna solve this problem. Now there's other ways to solve it. You can see that in some of my other videos, but this is my preferred method. So I'm gonna say the absolute value 0.25x minus 6 equals 9. So I start out by switching the inequality sign. This is a 6. And now I'm going to say the absolute value, or I don't need the absolute value, sorry. I'm going to split this now and say that 0.25x minus 6 equals 9, or it's got to equal negative 9. Because in order for me to get a 9 uh, out to the right here as a solution, as an equaling 9, that means 0.25x minus 6 has to produce inside the absolute value a 9, or it has to produce a negative 9. That's where you get your two equations. That's how you get rid of these absolute value signs. Now I'm going to add the 6. I get 0.25x equals 15. I'm going to divide by 0.25. Now when you divide by 0.25, it's essentially like multiplying by 4, because how many times does 0.25 go into 15? Well, it goes in there, well, 4 times would go into 1, and then 15 more would go into 15, so 4 times 15, you end up with x equals 60. And then or, let's add the 6, add the 6, this is 0.25x equals negative 3, divide by 0.25 and we get x equal this will be negative 12. Now we have x is 60 and x is negative 12. What we need to do is we need to draw the number line mark negative 12 mark 60 and then I'm going to check some points. I'm going to check negative 20 I'm going to check 0 because it's in between there and I'm going to check 100. And I'm picking these numbers because they're to the left in the middle between the two roots and to the right and I'm essentially going to plug them into the inequality and I'm going to decide are these numbers uh, or do these do these uh, numbers to the left or in the middle or to the right are they solutions and it makes sense that you plug things in to check to see if they're solutions so I'm gonna plug in 100 first when I plug in 100 I get 100 times 0.25 so we're essentially doing the absolute value 0 0.25 times 100 minus 6 greater than 9. Is this true? Well, this will end up with absolute value of uh, 0.25 of 100. That's 25 minus 6 greater than 9. You can see right there, absolute value of 25 minus 6. That's 19. That's greater than 9. So these work. So I'm going to circle this area, this works. And then I'm going to do the zero part, so I do the absolute value of 0 0.25 times 0 minus 6 greater than 9. When I take 0.25 times 0, I get negative 6 absolute value greater than 9. Is that true? Well, when I take the absolute value, I get 6. Is that bigger than 9? No. It doesn't work there. And finally, I plug in negative 20. We get the absolute value of negative of 0.25 times negative 20 minus 6. And I'm going to kind of mark these. So you see 1, 2, this is my third one. And that's greater than 9. When I multiply that, basically a quarter of negative 20 would be negative 5. Minus 6, absolute value, greater than 9. Well, you see you get negative 11, absolute value, that's 11. That's greater than 9. These work as well. So what does that mean? That means my solutions run from negative infinity to negative 12. But they don't include negative 12 because we have a greater than sign. Union 60 to infinity.